Brisbane punk band Columbia Buffet are currently on a mini tour in support of their new album, How to Survive an Atomic Bomb, and playing a Melbourne gig tomorrow night. I'm Dan from Columbia Buffet on the line right now. Dan, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. Thanks for having me. You guys have already played Brisbane, Gold Coast and Sydney, and you're playing Melbourne tomorrow night at the Reverence Hotel. How have the shows been so far? Yeah, they've been great. The hometown launch was really good. It was surprising. Like we had people singing along and everything. It's, yeah, it was a good time. Gold Coast is something different. It was our first um, afternoon show out in the daytime, so it was good too. Have you uh, been to? Have you played many shows in Melbourne before? Uh, once, and it was like two or three years ago. Yeah, we ended up doing Sydney, Melbourne in consecutive nights and drove it, so it was pretty insane. So <laughs> at least you've had a bit of a break, so uh, more yeah. energy. What can we expect at the show tomorrow night? Uh, just all the songs, new songs. Should be fun. Um, so these songs, you are touring in support of your new album, How to Survive an Atomic Bomb, which came out last month. Um, how's it been? How's the response been like to this album? Yeah, it's great. A lot of a lot of new fans, a lot of new people paying attention to us, which is all we want. So we're just super proud of this album and just trying to get it to many as ears as possible. That's all we want to do. And it is a 12-track album. Was it a long time coming for you? Yeah, it took us about three or four years. Like, we recorded it a few times because we did it all ourselves. So we're just learning at the same time. So, yeah, it took about three to come together and then we retracked it twice so when we first started out I was I was writing a lot more like I would have a lot more of the song together before we jammed on it whereas now I'll kind of just have simple ideas with the melodies and stuff and then bring it to a jam so everyone has their own input and it just comes together so much quicker these days. You did mention that uh, you recorded the album all uh, by yourselves what was that experience like? Because your previous releases, you were in the studio. So what was it like being able to have the freedom to do it all yourselves? Yeah, it was amazing. Like, as I said, like we got to the towards the end of the process and we'll still come out with new ideas and we had the chance to go back and re-record and just, yeah, so much freedom and so much options for just tone-wise. And, you know, we'd spent days just getting a guitar tone and those kind of things. Like, there's no restrictions. And um, because of our time in the studios, we learned a lot there too, so we learned a lot of techniques that we can use ourselves these days. And the album was mixed by Callum John Barter, who has done uh, mixed records like British India and You Am I. What was it like working with him? What did you hope he would bring to the table? Uh, well, we've heard, well, we've ended up playing, we played a few support shows for British India up here in the past, probably three or four or five times. And, mm. You know, we've heard their records and just the way he brought that that energy to the record, what they have live, is just, that's what we kind of wanted to do. So that was the idea. <laughs> With this album, I've seen that a lot of reviews have mentioned the nostalgic 90s vibes that kind of come across in your music. Was 90s kind of punk or rock music a big influence for you when you were writing this album? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it always comes up. I think, um, yeah, I've always had that. Like, we've always been interested in that kind of music. And even as super young kids we're listening to, I had an older brother, so we're listening to, uh, you know, like Cusco Do and mm. Bad Religion and those kind of bands. And then growing up through pop punk and all that, it's all just stuck to what we're doing now. Well, you did say you've got a few more songs on the way. Were these songs that you had written that didn't make the cut for the album or did you write these post-album? No, nah, yeah, these are after the album. So <laughs> they're coming through pretty quick. Do you expect yeah. to release maybe them uh, later this year or are you going to work on them a bit more and give it some more time? Um, yeah, well, probably, like, as I said, the last album, we thought we were going to do it. We all took about two weeks off, I think. <laughs> Initially, and it ended up taking you know, two years on weekends and everything. So you never know the process. But yeah, I was thinking this could be a bit quicker. Like we'll at least have a couple songs ready mm. by the end of the year for sure. So, do you have any other plans for 2016? This tour that you're doing now is just a four-date tour. So, do you plan on reaching more regional shows in the coming months, or hitting up other major cities? Yeah, right now we haven't got much, but um, yeah, we definitely have plans. 
emotion to do a bit more of that. We're going to go over to Perth, but we're still working out some details, so we might do that, do a weekender. Mm. A bit later in the year, come back and do it all again.